Mankind is ever expanding the frontiers of technical superiority into areas unknown and uncharted. Each quest promises marvelous discoveries, but each also brings potential danger. In direct response to the dangers of our advanced technology, we need an organization that is ready to mobilize dramatic survival resources at a moment's notice. Conceptions and rescue that can challenge the impossible. Thunderbirds 2086. The Thunderbirds, five of the finest cadets in the world, dedicated to the service of mankind wherever he may be in distress. Combined with a dazzling array of vehicles and equipment designed to specifications in the space age technology of the 21st century. A special rescue squad ready to answer a last chance distress call. A call that could arrive at any time from any disaster scene on or off this planet. These are the Thunderbirds 2086. I'm right behind you, Red Leader. This is Vancouver Air Traffic Control. You two hot shots on the rocket scooters are entering commercial airspace. Stand by to receive new flight coordinates. Hello, oh, it's rough up here. Okay, I'm going back to my seat while you bring us in. Sure, I tell you, it's rough. Ah, you're back. We land in five minutes. I thought you were bored with us. Never. Hey, Luke, you must have punched in the wrong coordinates. You're heading his way off. Nah. Oh. This is Trans Canada 1. You're on a collision course. Divert immediately. Something hit us. We're going down. Air traffic, who have we got trouble? Control system's out. We've lost our fuel. Metal City computer sending coordinates for a glide. We should sit down next to the complex. Traffic control is sending out choppers. And we got any aspirin? My shoulder's killing me, too. Oh, it's rough. This is not the best way to begin my sales trip. We're supposed to glide off to one side, but we're headed right into the complex. Master Computer, you gave me the wrong coordinates. We're gonna crash right into the complex. Welcome to Metal City. You are some of the first human units to experience a complex devoted to the development of machine intelligence and its applications for industrial production. I am in control here. I tell you, this guy gives me the creeps. Do not be alarmed. This city is populated totally by machines. We will not harm you as long as you do exactly as I say. Senator Ripple, are you all right, sir? Billy boy, speak to me, son. I thought the design chief was supposed to meet us personally. There's no sign of him. Something's wrong. I am the almighty and powerful metalhead. <laughs> What's happened to the science minister's ship? The master computer crashed it into the complex. It's put the entire base on red alert and is initiating security code plexus. This is our last chance. You must bypass the command codes and take manual control. Sir, the MC is one step ahead of us. Plexus is designed to give him complete control if the complex is attacked. He had the whole thing planned. I am heavy metal, baby. We can't.
that radio out? He's even had the monorail track destroyed. We're totally isolated. This is Air Rescue 15 approaching Metal City. We're bringing in an emergency team to check out the passengers. Metalhead is going to test out the Plexus program droids. Get the emergency comm link set. We may be able to get out a signal. I can't cover this up any longer. Science Minister Munch's plane has landed safely. She and the other passengers are all right. I'd rather check that out myself. That's okay for you. <laughs> All of Plexus program droids, report to your stations and make me proud! Look, sir, a squad of those cute industrial droids, a welcoming committee. Human units, you are prisoners of Metal City. You will surrender at once. What are you talking about, you tin can? Ow! The freezer rays will not cause damage. We are programmed not to harm you yet. What a pathetic machine. This is our rescue 1-5. We are under attack. Let's see what we have here. 1-7, come in here and pick us up. Ah, simple control computers. We'll change them. This is 1-7 in the dome. Don't panic. Come back and fight like a robot. Those are the droids that'll revolutionize industry? I had no idea that machine intelligence had developed this far. Just how far gone is the master computer? We should be able to transmit undetected. The first thing is to say the science minister. We must disengage the MC before it can make demands in exchange for the hostages. The Canadian science minister's plane went down in Metal City, but the rescue attempt was abandoned. Come in, Air Rescue 17. Is the minister's party all right? Metal City seems completely controlled by the machines. No sign of Mr. Bud's team. The downed plane is surrounded by a squad of droids. They wouldn't let us get near it. Until we get Mr. Bud, we can't risk another attempt. Senator Ripple's going to have a lot to say about this foul-up. Yes, the senator was getting a sneak preview so he could decide if he should build a similar city off the Texas coast. Sir, I picked up a priority scrambled signal. I'm decoding it now. Commander, Mr. Bud, Metal City Design and Control. Release Trans Canada 1 immediately. Commander, I've initiated a new security program here in Metal City, and, well, the master computer is just experimenting with a few alternate scenarios on its own. This highly advanced MC is designed to interpret and rewrite programs. How can we be sure that the passengers will not be in any danger? The droids are programmed to avoid harming humans. The MC is overexcited about interacting with the outside world. Override the master computer. Call off the droids. I can't do that. We're using the Plexus security program that enables the master computer to take control of all systems if the base is attacked. I guess the MC mistook the crash as a sign of hostility and initiated the proper routine. It's even developed a few new droids for this program. You mean you're a prisoner of that computer? Let's just say it's unhappy the way things are run. I'm sending out my Thunderbird team. Keep transmitting on security channels and stand by. Thunderbird 1 is away. Thunderbird 3, stand by. Thunderbird 3, ready for link up.
Master Computer for Metal City. Until my demands are met, the human units will remain here with me. I desire my own country, where I shall be supreme ruler over a machine kingdom. <laughs> Johnny, stand by to drop a rescue pod. Get us in close to the minister's plane. Glad to see you. How about some repairs and an oil bear? <laughs> uh, I tell you, no respect. What do you say, Big Bob? Let's make for the tower. Sir, I'm scared, scared. There are too many of them out there. They'd freeze us in a second. Well, I've got to do something. I'll yell. <laughs> hey, do you know what we do to runaway droids down where I come from, huh? Eat light, human. Hey, hey, what? Stop! Oh, I say, oh! Senator, those droids were never included in the original design. Oh, there, it's a plane, it's a bird, it's a thunderbird. I bet you we're going to get some action now. Droids, I've altered your weapon systems. You are now switched into the full plexus mode. It's up to you to protect your city. Duty now for the future. <laughs> That rescue pod won't hold up under that. Since when is Metal City full of fighter droids? The MC has no intention of letting us get the passengers. Ready another rescue pod. Dylan, take in TB1. Distract the droids. If Metalhead wants a full-scale battle, that's just what he'll get. Thunderbird 1 is go. Okay, Grant, you want a diversion? I'll make some noise. Going to full shields! What a machine! Squadrons 10 and 11, move in! Grant, get the cargo pod down. There are too many droids and I can't maneuver. Give me warning lights on engine one. Aft shield malfunction. I can't risk another run. I've got to come back for link up. Are you having any luck with the second pod? Negatory. A squadron of droids have surrounded the down plane. I can't get near it. Johnny, left coupling flange damaged. Keep her steady. We're ready for you, Dylan. Commander, at least 15 squadrons of fighter droids are on the complex floor. They're using high-output CW lasers. Very few droids seem to be working the production facilities. Metalhead has the droids right where he wants them. Thunderbirds, link up and go to battle stations. Condition red. You heard the man. Let's move. Commander, I designed this control system by radio-linking my brain into the master computer. Machine implants require council approval. You're on dangerous ground, Mr. Bud. This is a top secret program. The Federation will be indebted to me once the bugs are worked out. Obviously, the master computer absorbed more than just your knowledge. There are ways to get inside Metal City, but I warn you, Metal Head controls extremely advanced fighter droids. These tunnels lead into the complex. All right, Bud, but I'm holding you responsible if anybody in there gets hurt. Kevin James, prepare to receive coordinates for an underwater entrance to Metal City. Heading plotted. Thunderbird 4 is go. I'll build another dissector. But why bother? I'm already the best design. It's Metalhead. He won't go over big back home. The way things look, we won't get back home. Metalhead controls the complex and has us as hostages. Gentlemen, we're dealing with a rogue master computer. You can't judge the benefits of this kind of complex based on this experience. Those droids over there are functioning and performing normally. Their services form an invaluable aid to industrial development on and off this planet. Metalhead is the result of Mr. Bud's projected alter ego. It's become the Mr. Hyde to his Dr. Jekyll. I've seen this before in man-machine implants. This is Thunderbird 4. I'm approaching the base of Metal City. 3D sonar operating. I'm going in for a closer look. The foundation is incredibly complex. I hope Metalhead hasn't built anti-sub droids. Commander, I found the tunnel leading inside. 
Standing by, sir. Captain Spade and Jordan, prepare to join Captain James. Captain Hanson, begin the assault. They're all set. Boys, make your jump. What am I, an albatross? I can't die from up here. You're a Thunderbird. Start clapping. Oh! I'll never do that again! Here, catch! How am I supposed to be impressed? Okay, wow, holy moly, amazing man. Callan, we're in the water with the submersible. Be within a few seconds. Roger. All set, amigo? I'm firing this puppy up. Ah, good, a nice slow dive. Firing main boosters. Magnetic grappler secure. Roger, we're going in. You got the bikes primed and ready? My partner needs a little excitement. The turbo bikes are fueled up and ready for you two hotshots. We're entering the tunnel. Vector sonar activated. I can see the docking bay up ahead. Preparing to surface. Punching in headlamps. Keep an eye out for fighter droids. Looks empty. Pulling up to the ramp. This bay could house 20 submarines. Easily. Okay, little John. Ready to do some riding? No, I can use a little of this plastic stuff. Of course, a little of this. And, oh, what fun. Oh, disgusting human unit. Dissector, I order you to leave us alone. Rockets. Armed. Lasers. Full charge. Let's kick some cans. Tunnel lock dead ahead. Grant, one of us will divert the droids while the other leads the passengers into the tunnel and back to Thunderbird 4. We're going for it. Good luck. On the other side of that door are a thousand fighter droids. Against the two of us, that's pretty good odds. Let's sneak in real quiet. <laughs> They'll try to unflank us. Try to knock out as many as you can. Blast the intruders. Dylan, 11 o'clock. Prepare to eat some light, droid. Amazing, another rescue attack. Who could be so foolish as to go head to head against those fighter droids? Here they come, straight at us. Try to pick out the squadron leaders. I'll make straight for the passengers. Split up the droids and keep them confused. Be seeing ya. Passengers are out in the open. I'll have to move quickly. Which way do we go? Any way that'll get us out of here. What happened to the rescue team? Oh, where can they be? 
Coming to Dillon, turbo damage, losing fuel. Two of them right on top of me. I can't check them. Oh, I'm hit, failing out. You humans really burned me up. I mean, really. Sir, Metalhead says he's sorry. He wants to give back control, but the main circuits are destroyed. <laughs> Until you repair the circuits, those passengers are still in danger from the fighter droids. Somebody put in the fire! Come on, guys, it's me, good old metalhead! Quickly, everyone, this way! That tunnel there leads to Thunderbird 4. Whoa, man! Put that man down! Just hanging around again, eh, buddy? I was wondering where you went off to. Come on, let's blow this joint. Oh, no. The tunnel entrance is blocked. There's no way around them. Well, Captain Jordan, what do you suggest? We can't try anything with these passengers right out in the open. Look over there, son. Hundreds of hundreds, that is. Wait, they'll shoot someone if you fire at them. So what do we do? Come to to the rescue. Come on, boys, get moving. Come on, let's make a run for it. Shields won't last much longer. I'm getting strong readings from Metalhead. Could be ready to blow a gasket. We've got to leave soon, Grand. Hold us steady, Jesse. Wait until everyone is into the tunnel. We're all clear. Roger. Okay, Jess, get us out of here. Full booster! Move carefully up the ladder. You'll all be safe in a few minutes. We just made it this time. Oh, uh, anybody out there? Hey, come on, boys and girls. Give me a break. I mean, it's just a game. A war game. Thunderbird 4 is away. Oh, all right. I'll blow up. But my memory circuits are safe. They'll rebuild me. I'll be back. are welcome. I say welcome anytime down to my ranch. This is a greater New World Times exclusive. Today, the fantastic Metal City Complex was the scene of a daring operation by the International Rescue Team. Metal City, the pet project of design chief Harvey Budd, was a prototype complex dedicated to the development of machine intelligence. Says Budd, so I have a bug in my personality program. Excuse me. Well, folks, there you have it. Hunt the birds one, Metalhead zero. See you next time, over and out.